The following segment is sponsored by Intermountain Healthcare. All right, we're talking sleep disorders with the uh, experts at Intermountain Healthcare. Dawn Fielding is with me right now, Intermountain Healthcare and hospice as well, right? Right. You know, a lot of times we don't think about sleep. We don't even realize that we're not getting a good night's sleep, but that can be very detrimental to your health. Absolutely, it can be. What works if you have a sleep disorder? So today we're kind of talking about apnea and treatments for apnea with CPAP. Um, with CPAP, you always will have a mask. Sure. Um, there's a few different kinds of masks that we can use. The first one is called a pillow mask. This kind of fits into the nares mm -hmm. um, snugly and the air will blow, kind of creates a cycle that comes through here. This kind is a nasal mask. It fits over the nose, um, it leaves the mouth open. Right. Okay. This one's bigger. This one's bigger. And it's called a full face mask. It will cover the nose and the mouth both. How important is it to get the right fit and decide which one of these you need? It's very important. You want to um, make sure that you've got one that fits well. They come in all different sizes. So we'll measure your face, um, see which one will be the best fit so that we can get a good seal. If you don't have a good seal, the machine's not going to work the way you want it to. Right. And you'll have um, dryness in your mouth and your nose. You'll have higher pressures coming through because the machine will compensate for what it's losing through the leak. Uh -huh. um, and you want to make sure too that it fits snugly but not too tight because you want to avoid any pressure sores or any irritation on the skin as well. That's awesome. Now, uh, if you think you have sleep apnea or you have a sleep disorder and you have any questions, the experts right here are taking your phone calls. The number on your screen, 877-908-0680. We're going to send it back inside. That's it from the lobby.